All right, so we got cold out behind me. He is uh, like 18, 19 weeks so far. And so what we're gonna do as soon as he gets done using the bathroom is we're gonna do some play sport training with some food. Now Colt is the one who just doesn't wanna take food from your hand regardless. He'll eat food out in a bowl out here, but he would not, he still won't take food out of my hand. Um, and like I said, we're not shooting anything inside the house because if I did everything inside the house and I shot the videos inside the house, you would probably not see these dogs mess up at all. I could pretty much go through step by step without these dogs making really much of any mistakes because there's no distractions. There's nothing for them to want to get to inside. There's a very low distraction environment. So it's going to be a lot easier for me and me being you know, I do this for a living, that is going to be very easy for me. So this is gonna make it to where we may see this dog mess up and I get to show you how we correct the dog or how we get the dog to get back on the place board after it messes up, how we show the dog how what it's doing wrong. So uh, Colt, come here, bud. Here, bud, pup, pup. And I think he's about to bring me an old shotgun show. Good boy. Hey, hey. Come here. Oh, good. All right, so I've got that old shotgun shell out the way. So we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with this bowl of food. So I'm gonna tap the board right here, get him to come up here, and then I'm gonna ask for a sit. Now he doesn't really know sit, but we're just gonna start teaching him it. So, coat, 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 coat. Here, pop, 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 pop. Here, come on, up. So he just knows body position because I've made him sit before I throw a ball. So that's why he sat there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna put this good and put the bowl down in front and let him eat a little bit, okay? Hop. Now I'm gonna take a step. Good. All right, Hop. And when I'm, right there. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm gonna set this down. I'm just gonna pick the dog up. Under the body, set him down right here. Watch, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover his snout and his eyes, not putting any pressure, I'm just gonna hold my hand over his face. Good. And see how he stayed there, even though I was reaching down because of that slight correction. I'm not putting any pressure on him, no squeezing on the snout, nothing like that. I just covered his face one hand under his chin, one hand over his head. Good. All right. Up. And so I am saying good, and then I'm putting the food bowl down. After I say the word. Up. Now I'm gonna introduce the yes command, which lets him come off the board. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. And I may have to encourage him because I did that correction. Yes. Good. Good boy. All right, now I'm gonna get him back up. Come on. Up. Good. And he gets to eat right here. Good. I'm gonna take a few steps back. Uh, uh, uh. Come here. If he won't get up here on his own, we just take him, pick him up. Up. He'll correct himself. Take a few steps back. Good. Up. And you notice how fast he recovered. Me correcting him in there and correcting him in that manner didn't. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It's not making him not want to eat his food. It's not so harsh that it's, it's making him not want to be here. I don't want him sitting. Then I'm gonna say, good. Up. Darth Vader hand, another step back, come back in, good. Now we're gonna end the session by up. putting his bowl down. Uh -uh. So we gotta get him back on the board.
pull, put the pole down. I'm going to walk up. So, and this is our first session, that's why he's so hesitant to go out there. Tomorrow, or if I give it another day's break and come back and do the same thing, guess what? He's not going to be that hesitant to go out there and eat that food the next time. But you're getting to see all the mess ups, all the struggles here. Good boy. Good boy. But he still wants to work with me. He's still hanging around me. He's not scared of the place board because I'm not correcting harshly. I'm just using a simple little hand over his face, hand under his chin, holding him there gently until he's relaxed, calm, and isn't fighting me on it. Um, Colt, Colt, come on, get over the camera. Don't want you to knock it down. So this method will allow me to get really uh, fast obedience. Like I said, this is the first session. The first session with him is already allowing me to take a few steps back and then come back in Tomorrow, I may be able to get, you know, to that first decoy. Um, who knows um, how far we could get. I'm not going to work this every day, but I am going to probably work it every other day. So I still like to keep in my training sessions, I don't like to work the dogs on the same thing every day. I like to keep them guessing, keep everything fun. So I may work this today. I may do retrieving tomorrow. Or I may do some uh, fun adventure training with the dogs. I may take them out to the woods and let them run around, let them sniff because they've had all their shots. So keep your sessions light, keep them fun. We didn't go very long there. We just let him work through his food bowl, which was just a, hand, a couple, hand, like two handfuls of food. Um, it was just this kind of morning feed. So right there, when I put the food bowl down and I want him to stay on the place board, I say good. When I want him to be able to leave and come get the food, I say yes, and that allows him to go off. So we're keeping our marker language, so, our marker language solid to where he knows when he's free to come get the reward and when he has to stay and wait for me to bring him the reward. 